I do feel very fortunate that I have very good drone pilot friends. These drone pilot friends are also real pilots. So I think by being real pilots that also helps to get the best shots. Here is Jokhe in his Cessna 170. It's a stock airplane. The only modification is the dresser tires, size 26. This Cessna 170 has 145 horsepower. Cessna 182, it has 280 horsepower. Has a Sportsman stall kit, VGs, and an empty propeller. All these modifications really help to do this kind of flying. The 182 has a Alpha Systems angle of attack indicator, which is very helpful. This is a Cop Crafters Carbon Cop. One inches Alaska bushwood. Cessna 182 has bigger tires, 850s on the mains and 7 on the nose. Beagles is a relatively short, nice and smooth grass strip, 850 feet, fence on one end and some apple trees on the other end. Ski jump is a one way in uphill grass strip. Here is a Highlander making his landing there. It's the Hicken in Washington, eastern side of the Cascades. Beautiful area. What is nice about drone footage is that it captures the whole environment of the area. This gives the viewer the opportunity to appreciate all the surroundings where the flight takes place. It's in Homish in Washington. We have great gravel bars in this area and very pretty scenery. This kind of landing we always check the depth of the water before attempting. This was only four inches deep.
call this one Arrowhead. This is the shortest gravel bar we land on the Skykomish and Ethnohomish River. that my friend is flying backwards and he hits a tree but he saved the drone. takes a lot of skill the way these guys can fly their drones. Idaho is my favorite place to fly. I highly recommend backcountry flying training and mountain flying training before attempting to come here. Density altitude can get you and the canyons and approaches too. If you want to fly in Idaho safely, you really need to know your airplane. Before we fly, we do a briefing and plan the route and where the shots are going to be taken. Where the drone is going to be, how high, going backwards, forwards, sideways. So it takes some planning and coordination. Usually the drone pilot has a handheld radio, so we are communicating all the time. We also make sure there are no other airplanes in the area, and the drone pilot makes sure the area he's going to fly is okay for filming.
So at the end of the day, usually drone shots are really amazing. They're incredible. They look really good. But you need really good drone pilots to make it happen. Please follow me if you want to support my channel on how to become a patron for Backcountry 182. It is very easy to join, to be a patron of Backcountry 182. Go to the uh, YouTube channel. On the right hand side, there is the link. And then it takes you to the Patreon page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the Patreon link is in the description of the video I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel. There is a link for Patreon, so just click on that and it will take you to the page. Thank you for watching, it will be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support. wife and today we're excited to announce the launching of Patreon for our YouTube channel Bad Country 182 which gives fans and friends the opportunity to support creators like Larry and myself by paying a monthly amount and receiving exclusive content so with your support through Patreon we will be able to make more and better content more often and new videos and Larry can connect with you more personally to hear your questions and concerns and what would you like to see? The really cool thing of being a patron is that every dollar amount does help. So go ahead and check out the videos. You can be a fan and look through our goals to see what we will be able to achieve together at every level of school. Come join us and be part of our adventure.